What is going on guys, Nathan here, and this is the Tokyo Marui VSR-10 Airsoft Rifle, and uh, I knew I was, uh, I said like back, I don't know, in the winter, spring something, uh, when I got this, that I was going to make a video of me shooting it, um, and I really just never got around to it. But this is the actual rifle, and I guess I'm doing this video today. Um, it's a pretty windy day out, so um, honestly, I'm not really that good of a shooter either. So I'll probably not hit uh, a lot of shots on target, which is that piece of paper down there. Not sure if you can see it. Maybe in HD, it's the freaking really bright white speck on the screen. But, so... Yeah, this is the VSR-10. If you want to take a look down the scope, we got it right there. I really can't focus it, honestly, um, to get like the grass um, because the thing auto-focuses and I can't really control that. But, um, I don't know, some, some people like looking down the scope of uh, certain guns. Uh, this was a $60 scope. I think it's from it's from Aim Sports. That's the brand. Um, I'm only using it on a three time zoom because anything more than that makes it really blurry. But um, yeah, the gun is pretty nice. Uh, it's got a really nice looking wooden uh, body. It, it's plastic, but I think it's like a nice plastic. I don't know how to explain it. And um, yeah, I got this bipod too. Um, I think it's called a Harris bipod or something like that, where it actually um, is secured by one of these, uh, uh, what are they called, the sling mounts on the front. So this bipod is actually cool in that, um, if I actually go like this, turn that, then it becomes shorter, you can just unscrew or loosen it, whatever. One second, this camera, I'm using my phone, and this is at a really awkward angle. There we go. And then the legs flip up here. Go. Do not try not to pinch myself there. And we flip this up as well. And then you got your mobile rifle. So, yeah. Uh, normally I do my shooting from... Actually, there's a table around the corner over here. But um, I figured I'd go in the grass today because it's a nice Minnesotan day out around 70 degrees, which is pretty much all we can hope for at this point. But, yeah, this is the rifle, and, uh, oh, that's a thing. Don't, don't pay attention to these things. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so these are the magazines. Um, standard kind of airsoft sniper rifle magazine. I don't know, other than that, uh, pretty much explanation of the gun. I guess, uh, I did paint over the orange tip here. Uh, I painted it a gloss black because I didn't have access to uh, matte black, so it's a little bit shiny looking, but other than that, I think, you know, it's not terrible. I mean, if you didn't know it was there, then pretty much, I don't know. So, yeah, also had to order this special rail mount dealio. That sucked. This thing alone, this thing was $20 off of uh, Airsoft Atlanta, and then like the scope I said was 60 and then I think the actual gun was 200 something or the other off of, um, shoot, what, off of Red Wolf Airsoft, and um, that, that company is actually based in Hong Kong, so I literally waited a month for the thing to pass customs and shit, get into the country, um, and finally it came here in that little set unboxing video that you guys saw maybe uh, quite a while ago, but, oh, what is that, is that a bug, I don't know, something over there, so, yeah, that's the gun, uh, no upgraded parts yet, at least, I have taken out the real shock recoil, um, being this is the real shock version, and, yeah, no upgrades for now, being, this is actually, Pretty much, if you guys don't know Airsoft, this is the most upgraded rifle on the market, or like upgradable, being so many parts are compatible with it, or so many parts are made for it. Um, but 
I mean, I just don't really have the money to afford that kind of thing right now, so... Yeah, anyway, that's the gun, and, uh, now we get to shooting, so, uh, see you in a bit. Alright, now we are going to look at the shots that I got. I think I hit a total of four on the paper, because uh, you can hear from the audio from the BB striking the paper. Uh, by the way, I was using .28 gram BBs, I believe, or .25 at a distance of roughly 150 feet. And let's see, so you got one right in the middle there. Uh, you've got another one, another one, and then looks like two over here. Paper's a little bit ripped. And you got an indent right here. So, I don't know, the wrinkles. I don't think I see any other hits, but yeah, as you can see, it's really windy. And uh, at a distance of 150 feet, with me not even being a good marksman anyway, um, that's kind of predictable. But anyway, thank you all for watching, as always, and uh, see you later. Peace out.